Hi everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to use some of the tools that we will be using throughout the semester on Laulima. Firstly, um, once you log in, you should be able to see all of your classes up here, one of which would be the math class that you are taking with me. The overview page will give you some details about whichever class you are taking with me. Um, you should go read, up, read um, what's on it. Um, then we go to start here. Um, you know, there's some videos, um, read all of this information. Um, there's a practice worksheet um, and I'll briefly talk about the two tools that we will be using for assignments in this class. So make sure you go over all the details in each of these pages. Um, the first thing that we will be using is something called My Open Math. So it's basically a free um, software for online homework. When you log in, you will see this tab right here. Um, when you click this tab, you will see a list of assignments. There are seven total assignments um, based on the seven modules that we will have. They do not have a fixed due date. However, they are labeled based on modules. So for example, if you finish the material in module one, you can go ahead and click module one. Um, when you do that, give it some time. It's going to say there are 46 points possible and you can resume or start your work. All of the questions will be listed. Please wait for all the questions to load because sometimes there are some images which take a while to load. Um, you can start working on these problems. Um, some of these have question help with video, which when you click will open a video explaining the concept. Some of them have multiple videos. Um, and some of them may not have videos, but I think most of them do have videos as well as written examples. Once you have your, um, once you've done the problem, for example, um, I type out my answer to this problem and I press submit question. It's going to tell you whether or not you got it correct. So in this case, I got it correct. And if you would like more practice, you can get more similar questions and you can try those again. However, if you've got the question correct, then your grade is already saved. So it's just for practice. You don't have to do all the questions at the same time. Um, if you like, you can do a few questions. However, once you're done with that, make sure that you save your work. It says progress save, but just for security, press done. And it will let you know, for example, which questions you have attempted, which questions are correct, which questions are incorrect. Once you're done with that, you can press back. And then um, that's how that works. The second tool we are using is called assignments. If you go into assignments, whatever assignments are currently open will be visible. So somewhat like this. Right now, you have a practice worksheet and a module one worksheet. These worksheets have deadlines. There's one worksheet every two weeks. So make sure, for example, if you notice here, worksheet one is due on January 22. Let's look at the practice worksheet, which is due on January 12, which is just for you to understand the process of submitting the worksheet. Once you click on this assignment title, it will take you to this page. Um, there are instructions here. Under additional resource is where you will find the worksheet. So if you click this PDF, it will open up on a new page. You can print this if you would like, or you can look at it and work on a piece of paper. Once that is done, you must click this, go to external tool. Now, the first time you use this, it will ask you um, which Google account you want to work with. Please select your Hawaii account. And then you click this button called open to attach and submit. It will take you to a new page where it will show you if you have any files that you have previously submitted. Go to add files and then you can upload your PDF file here. Now, for example, suppose I'm using, I use a PDF file that I already have. Um, press add. It's going to take a while to attach the file. Make sure that that is your file and then you can press submit. 
it will confirm again press submit again and your submit is assignment is done now in case you would want to change your work you can unsubmit the assignment then you can remove your attachment and you can add a new file so make sure you follow that process so that the file reaches me so let me do this all over again let me attach it again and you have unlimited resubmissions as long as the deadline is not passed once you're done with that you can close this tab and go back to Laulima um, and if you refresh this assignments and go in here it will say that you submitted it on January 8 or whatever date that you submit so you can keep track now you can access this assignment in multiple ways one of them is through the assignments tab the other is if you go into your module module 1 will have an introduction um, some text that you should read the learning objectives things that you will be able to do at the end of this module and things that are due um, all the learning materials will be placed in buttons here so for example introduction to factoring will take you to a new page um, which will have a series of videos um, which you should watch once you're done with that you can go back as you scroll mm -hmm. down under assignments this is another way you can access the worksheet so if you click this module 1 worksheet it will take you to the very same page that we've seen before right? and you can go back um, mm -hmm. And there are some other things that you should read and complete. For example, there is a question at the end of each module um, where you can type in your answers and submit your answers. So for example, test answer and submit. Mm -hmm. As soon as you do that, you will notice that this check mark here will be activated automatically. So that's pretty much it with the tools that we will be using. Um, this semester I'm trying to have everything in Laulima, which is why the two external tools that we are using have been embedded in Laulima. And I'm hoping that everything works smoothly. And that's how you would do your worksheet and your online homework. Okay. Please make sure that you have access to my open math and you can already view the assignments. Um, also make sure you can see the practice worksheet and um, try to submit it before January 12th so that you know how things are going to be done for the rest of the semester. Well, if you have any other questions, um, please do let me know.